check out this map I put together of all the different places in our area where people reported hearing that sonic boom. That's where they say they heard the sonic boom. But our question was, why did some people hear it when others say they didn't? The North American Aerospace Defense Command, or NORAD, confirms to WUSA-9 it deployed two F-16 fighters like these from the 113th Fighter Wing of the D.C. National Guard at Joint Base Andrews in Prince George's County. The intercept took place approximately 20 miles northeast of Ronald Reagan National Airport, the most direct flight path to reach the Cessna before it got to D.C., according to NORAD. The jets traveled so fast they created that sonic boom heard from Annapolis to D.C. and Virginia. Yet other WUSA 9 viewers didn't hear anything. Why? Well, if a jet is flying below Mach 1 or 767.3 miles per hour, that's known as the Doppler effect, which is what you would hear watching planes take off from Gravely Point at Reagan National. When fighter jets go above Mach 1 like they did Sunday, the sound waves merge into a shock wave that trail the aircraft, creating that sonic boom. According to an Air Force website, as an aircraft flies at supersonic speeds, it is continually generating those shock waves, dropping sonic booms along its flight path, similar to someone dropping objects from a moving vehicle. From the perspective of the jet, the boom appears to be swept backwards as it travels away from the aircraft, in this case, shaking some homes in Annapolis. But if the plane makes a sharp turn or pulls up, those booms will hit the ground in front of the aircraft, which is why people from D.C. to Virginia reported hearing it too. The U.S. Geological Survey says aircraft actually produce two booms, but they usually arrive so close together that they are indistinguishable. Guys, just in the last 20 minutes, we heard from NASA with some new information about why some people heard this yeah. and why some people did not. I'm going to go back to the newsroom, get that ready for 6 o'clock, some new insight and a, and a good scientific explanation of why this was so sporadic. Okay, that's interesting. And really just a reminder of how... Our military, wherever wow. they are, mm -hmm. have to be on guard and ready at any point. I well, mean, just, just real quick, ready. we were talking in the newsroom about the, the quick decisions that had to be made when yeah. they scramble those jets and then to assess what sort of a threat it was as it passed as over it was our happening. homes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, right. and whether or not that aircraft needed to be taken down immediately or... Let to Those quick decisions, yeah. They were laser focused. I'm yeah. still trying, still trying to figure out why I didn't hear anything. Zo, you, you never, you never hear, hear anything. anything. So. Everyone's going off about it. We're like, wait, what? What did I miss? <laughs> All right. Apparently, a lot. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. If you heard the big boom and you captured it on camera, we want to see. Just send us your videos. Just open the WUSA 9 app. Tap on near me, and then that's on the bottom right, and then tap share with us.